Hello YouTube, I'm David with the David West channel. Well today I want to do some more bulk charring and maybe you've seen my other bulk charring video. I did a t-shirt. I'll put the link right here. I want to do this one different though. That one I left all the seams in, all the stitching, all the pieces that I that I really wasn't going to use really didn't want because I could have the best char cloth in that there was so much bulk there. So therefore, with all that extra stuff that I didn't really want in the can, that was just a whole, whole lot more off gases that needed to be expelled. This time, I'm gonna cut away just all these flat pieces here of this 100% denim and just stick those into the can. Another mistake that I think I made with the last can is I made the can too big. So I've already got a line way down here to where I'm gonna cut this popcorn tin down to about an inch so there may be an issue with warping when I when I put this lid on such a small base and all that heat hits it you know this this may warp and the lid try to pop off I may have to weigh the lid down but um also in that other video the other bulk charring video the heat source that I used was a Coleman propane lantern one of the big fat ones and so I don't have that lantern anymore so let's just build a fire on the ground y'all never see me build one on the ground I guess you think I can't build a campfire a fire on the ground but um, you know usually I'll get the wood out of the burn pile and usually when people set a burn pile on fire they'll use an accelerant they'll use gas or kerosene or something like that I'm gonna use an accelerant I'm a, I've got some um, pine cones, and they're just full of sap. <laughs> That's all the accelerant I need to get a fire started. And to put our cut down popcorn tin, char tin in there, let's see how it turns out. So I'm just going to get these nice big flat pieces and put in that char tin. And here's the pieces that I ended up with. All right. And because it's so easy to sharpen, I can do something like this. That's going to be the way all of these edges, these sharp edges, are more or less bent in. It should be easier to get the lid on. Oh yeah, that's a lot easier than what it was last time around. <laughs> This is my Smith's sharpening stone. You've seen it on the channel before. Coarse side and a fine side. And that's the very thin stainless edge just sharpens right back up. Really quickly, when the blade is new, I've got I got about an eighth inch worn off the edge side of that blade. It's 
it's back sharp again. Let me show you. No problem. All right, well, the fun and the easy part is done with now. Now I gotta establish a big old fire. Let's get set up down here. We'll get set up down there by the block and go ahead and get a fire started. All right, I have some paper mulberry leaves here. And here's some of the still damp I believe this is white pine, pine cones. Look at all that sap on there. And we'll just start it off with just a little pinch of pine needles. put you back on time lapse because it's not all that much fun to watch a fire build. All right. That should be plenty of heat to go ahead and char that denim. I'll keep putting some wood on it. All right, we are completely cooled off. This is always an exciting time, first time you open up a char tin. Let's see what we got. Soft, supple, there is a little bit of smoke residue on this piece. A little bit of smoke residue on that, but that's not a huge problem unless you've got a thick layer of smoke residue on it. Another good soft piece. Looking good. Looking very good. Now that's a little bit that's a little bit stiff right there. It's not uncommon for char cloth to get stiff on the very bottom, the bottom pieces. Turned out really nice. Let me show you. Now these are the bottom most pieces that are just a little bit stiff. And these upper ones are choice. That might be where the heat didn't get to it well enough. Oh, no, now it's looking like that part was on fire. 
That's why there's that ring and that spot right there. But these are choice pieces. Big choice pieces of char cloth. This is where I think it was caught on fire. Some air must have got in there. So let's try it out. I'm just going to go right back with this small flake that we used the other day. On those eight flint and steel ignitions. It's about, I think it's uh, two videos ago we used this flake. And of course my steel that was made out of a Nicholson file. Alright. Let's put that small piece in here. That small piece. I'm going to try these big pieces out. Put all those small pieces right in there. That one's too crunchy to use. It's too brittle. It will work, but when you have this much char cloth, there's no need to fool with something that's not primo. All right, let's use this bottom piece right here and see how it does. It's gonna be hard to see when you have ignition in this bright sunlight. Well, that did not ignite very quickly, did it? And it's burning quickly because it's so thin. Let's try another piece. Let's try another piece of this same piece right here. See if we can get it any quicker. So, this piece that was on the bottom that's, that's brittle, not really doing very well. Um, let me set it aside and get another piece. This one is soft and supple and feels like it would be a whole lot more responsive. Let's just see what it is. strike ignite I like a one strike ignite like everybody else in the world let's try another piece of that same nice soft supple piece let's see if we can do it again Let's see if we can do it again. Oh, it broke. Not making a very good showing, am I? Let's keep trying it. Might be sending these leaves to flames. If I'm not careful, I think I'll snuff them out a little bit. So that they won't so that they won't go to flames. Let's try a piece of this quartz here. Alright, so this piece did pretty good. 
Let's try this piece here. Look, that's going to try to go to flames again. All right, I've already got some good threads sticking out on that one. So let's use it just like it is. Let's try that, see if we can one strike ignite it. When it first comes out of the char tan, you should be able to one strike or, you know, one, two or three strike ignite it. Because it is highly reactive as soon as it comes out of the char tan. See, I saw that ignite a couple of times go right back out. I don't know what to tell you about that. I don't know why. Let's go ahead and get the flames on this and we'll make a couple more. Wet leaves. Now I can wet that right now. Now I can pretty dry. Alright, let's try another one of these pieces. Let's try this piece here. With all those frayed edges. Let's try that. I saw one one go up in there. It caught that time. out of this smoke. All right, I'm gonna put it all in my char tin. Even though some of the pieces seem to be difficult, I'm still gonna enjoy having all of this char cloth. All right, y'all. I appreciate you joining me on this one. We'll catch you on the next one.